Hey there! Every month, Annie has a call with our Path 365 members and answers their questions. She tackles a wide range of topics from what to do with big emotions, what kinds of tips and advice she has for addressing difficult situations, how to deal with cravings, and so much more. Listen in as she does some real life coaching for our Path members. I'm starting the path. I would like coaching on hope. In the last 24 years, my longest stretch of sobriety has been in three months um, while I was in rehab. So three months in rehab, I've been through AA, I've been through smart recovery. And yet here I am still binge drinking twice a week for whatever reason. I feel like a coward because I give it again and again without any sense of hope that I can actually be free of alcohol in my lifetime. I think if I would only choose to cope with my problems like a man, I could be free. But every time I fail, so failure has become my expectation. I'm 66 and I feel like an outlier. It seems like most people are younger and maybe they haven't been as bad off as me. So I wonder if there's any hope at my age, given the number of years I've been dealing with this and the programs that I've tried that haven't worked because I failed at them or others succeeded. I need hope for the future, a future free from alcohol where I can feel joy. It's hard to imagine being free of it when I would no longer have to wonder why I buckled and gave into alcohol over and over again. I think even in probably based on what I just said, you can probably art, already start to see how you've been in the gap based on your, your journey so far. But what I hear you saying is that you now only drink two times a week. And I'm just curious, like hold up your fingers, do it sign language style, but how many times a week were you drinking? Three, four. So, I mean, that's, that's a huge gain, right? Like you have five days a week where you are not drinking at all. That's massive. That's, that's amazing. And I think that that's where hope comes from. Hope comes from progress. Hope comes from momentum. But if you're measuring yourself against like this ideal, then it's, it's really hard to kind of find that kind of hope. And I also think there's something very, very, very different in what we're doing around here. And that I will just always continuously harp into everybody's mind. And so will the coaches is that your behavior actually matters less than how you feel. And when you feel better, when you feel good, when you feel compassion for yourself, when you feel acceptance for yourself, when you recognize how many things that you have been doing that are actually really good, your behavior will take care of itself. So what I'd love for you to do is to do just a little journal exercise for me and um, take it, take some time, get yourself a cup of coffee or whatever your thing is, and just make a numbered list of everything you have accomplished in the 66 years of your life. And big things, little things. And just, just take your time with it. When I did this, I started with, um, I first read a book in front of the class in preschool. And like, just try to like really all, all the things, because the hope has come from within you when you see how much you have done. And then I want you to make a second list. You said something, you said, if only I would cope with my problems like a man. I wanna tell you one thing. You, have you coped with some problems in your life? Have you dealt with and overcome some problems? Yes, okay. So you overcoming your problems while drinking has basically been like you overcoming your problems with one hand tied behind your back. It has been stronger and more powerful for you to have overcome the problems that you have come with this poison than it has been. It's alcohol is not helping you cope with your problems. It's not stepping in front of you and fighting the battle for you. It's not solving anything for you. It is making it harder. And so that idea of, I wish I could just cope with them like a man, like not only have you coped with them like a man, you've coped with them like a man who hasn't even had all his strength. So I'd love for you to make a second list of all the things you have overcome and coped with and done and been like, holy shit, like done that with one hand tied behind his back? Like what, what is possible, right? Because that's where hope comes from. And all of this, notice what I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about your drinking. Your drinking is secondary. Your problem is secondary. Your beliefs about yourself and who you are and how much you have to give and accomplish, that's primary. And when you handle those things, drink, don't drink, who cares? It's gonna take care of itself.
Thank you so much for listening to this episode. If you're ready to see how this naked mind can help you on your personal health and wellness journey and want to learn more, go to this naked mind podcast.com to learn what your next best step is. Again, that's this naked mind podcast.com. We have all of our free resources, programs, social links, and more available for you there. Plus, if you have your own naked life story to share, you can submit it there as well. Until next week, stay curious. 